2022 presents a significant milestone for Rotorua's Kiwi Health as it celebrates 80 years of providing wraparound health services for the region and prepares for its next 80. Kiwi has been revolutionising trends in health and well-being from its earliest days when it was run by Dr Wilfred Stanley Wallace. We started 1942, so we originally started as a convalescent hospital for the men returning from the war. And it was pretty groundbreaking back then in terms of the holistic approach to healthcare. So it was that mind, body, spirit. And that's the approach that's carried on the whole way. It's always been about treating the person as a whole and making them the best person they could be. The building's bones have lasted much longer than intended, but are now in need of a facelift. There's 80 years of history in this building and 80 years in a building that was supposed to last sort of 10, 15 years, so it has, has done well and that's the, I guess the negative side, it does look like it's 80 years old and it needs replacing. There's that element that, so when you turn up you look, oh my god, what is this? And you know, some of the clients, especially the ones that stay for three weeks, you know, a bit of shock sometimes, but then once they get in and realise what's inside this place and that's the staff and, and the connection between the staff and the clients and that's something that, you know, has got 80 years of history into it, you know, it's 80 years in the making of how we do things and how we are a special place. And a new purpose-built facility is set to open early next year. We're looking at the early next year, so January, February next year, getting in. You know, it's exciting because it's designed for how we want to, to operate and, and we don't have to try and fit ourselves into into rooms or modify things. That, yes, the rewarding, rewarding part for me is now now the staff get to have somewhere they, they can be proud to come to work and say, you know, that's, that's the building that I work in. And, and it reflects the amazing service that they do. You know, we've got a five-star service within the building. We'll now have a brand new five-star building that reflects that. So, you know, it's really exciting for us to go to a brand new building that's purpose-built for what we want to do and, and how we do things, but also future-proofing and growth that we have as well. But there's still time for one last hurrah in the old building. Fundraising to ensure the next chapter in Kiwi's history is fit for a queen featuring art auctions and Melbourne Cup sweepstakes. And we've got enough to, to finish the building and then the next part is we want to make sure we, 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 want, to, we want to put some nice new furniture in there too, not necessarily bring over some of this old stuff. That'll go to make sure that we've got you know, the, all the equipment that we need to provide the services we want to provide. Former nurse and current trustee Sammy Lean is ensuring the essence of QE will continue for generations to come. We went along to Rotary really to ask if the art auction for this year could be, QE could be the benefit to help with the fit out. But Rotary said, well, we'll do Melbourne Cup, we do that, they do it every year somewhere. So we'll do it at QE this year. That's how it's come about. What we've done is we've got some of the artwork that was been hanging in the hospital um, and then other things that patients have done and Aaron is determined not to take any of it to the new building I'm not quite sure what he's going to put on the new building so we said okay For her, the ethos is simple when it comes to their patients But giving them the best shot at life for the future giving them encouragement and, and uh, purpose really you can still be useful and purposeful and believe in yourself and you've got to so that's easy to say but you you have to make the person not understand that but want to do that you know well-being is not merely the absence of disease Len is adamant QE will be around for another 80 years there is a hope that now that the, the health system has changed that more people will be able to come for those who missed the party, there's other ways to help this important community facility and registered charity move on to its next chapter. On our website there's you know, a link to, I think it's the Give a Little page, there's you know, a link to our bank account. I'm welcome you know, people to come in and, and talk to me and, and see how they might want to you know, contribute to, to QE and, and whether it be buying a piece of equipment or you know, we've also got some range with some people where they're looking at naming rooms so there's you know there's there's an option for some people you know to come and have a you know pretty individualized package for them you know it's exciting for remote rotary community because that's who we're here for and we want them and using the building so. violet french local focus